Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving on Spanish Town Road and this road has a road project going on but today we're going to talk about the government announced recently that they need to redesign and re-engineer Spanish Town Road. Now the reason for that is they're saying one to help with the flow of traffic and two to help with the um the to beautify the area basically to let it look better because this is one of the two main entrances into the city of kingston when you come off mandela highway you either take washington boulevard or spanish town road and drive into the city of kingston now the city of kingston is the capital of jamaica it's a larger city and they're saying you shouldn't you should have a better look basically for driving into the city so mandela highway is a very nice road it's a road you see in a first world country that's how nice it is it's a highway and then you come off mandela highway and this is what you come on to and they have a similar project to redesign and re-engineer washington boulevard so you, when you're driving on this road you don't get the feeling that you're going into a city the main city in Jamaica so that's what the government is planning to do now the details of what they plan to do they haven't really announced it was just stated that they plan to redesign and re-engineer Spanish Town Road and Washington Boulevard now it doesn't really have much to do with well with Spanish Town Road this road is under construction it's been under construction for quite a while now what happens with this road is the it's two agencies national water commission is laying pipes water pipes so that the communities of this road or in this area can get uh, adequate supply of water so they are laying these 24 inch pipes in some cases 35 inch pipes right along the corridor back to downtown kingston so they're laying it through central kingston and downtown kingston now once water commission is finished with the laying of the pipes the nwa is going to do their project which is the repaving of the road so when they say they're going to redesign and re-engineer spanish town road i don't think it has much to do with the actual roadway because that project is already on the way NWA has their contractor waiting NWC gave out the contract already actually the pipes have actually been laid and they are pressure testing them to make sure everything works okay and once they finish with their part NWA will they've already given out the contract it's going to cost 11 million Jamaican to repave the road and NWC their project I think it's, it's a lot more some millions of US I don't remember the exact figure but the contracts have been given out the work has been done it's just for the pressure testing to be completed and then the repaving will start so when they say they're going to redesign and re-engineer this road I don't think it has much to do with the actual because layout of the road it has more to do with the, the image or what you see to the side so it should be most interesting but any any progress that you get with these roads and the areas it's needed because a lot of progress is going on in Jamaica it just takes time so when this road is completed it should definitely help with the flow of traffic etc but this project water commission is taking a very long time to finish their part Marco, they gave the contract out to a contractor and are not doing the actual pipeline themselves, but it's still taking a long time, longer than, than anticipated or projected. So hopefully they can start paving the road soon. And we'll also keep you updated as the government announces what they mean directly by redesign and re-engineer. I really doubt it's going to be changing the path of the road, but I doubt that very much. 
maybe they'll extend the road to eight lanes but there is no road in Jamaica that's eight lanes I mean when you enter the toll plazas the roads expand because of the number of toll booths but there is no road in Jamaica that's eight lanes so I can't imagine they would extend the road however if you look at the side of the road and look at where the street light is you'll see that there is space there for it, the road to take another lane so we just wait and see but no plans or no details have been given to what mean for what they mean and if you look on the right the street lights are so far in that maybe this road was intended to be eight lanes at one point but we'll wait and see and the reason why it's important to look at the street lights is because when these areas were being developed back in the 70s whenever the town planning that went into it would dictate how wide the road is for instance Hagley Park Road Constant Spring Road those roads were always intended to be four lanes however when the road was originally built like Hagley Park Road it was built as two lanes so when the time came to expand it to four lanes it could be done quite easily because like these light poles were in the correct spot the gates were in the correct spot the entrance gates the fences those kind of things now of course you know not everybody gets permission to do certain things so some persons went and built structures that came too far out so when there was time to build a road those structures had to be demolished it happened on constant spring road it happened on hagley park road because if they had gone to get permission to build whatever the town planning people would have said no you can't do that because you're going to come too far out anyway the roads were built and it's all good now so if you notice where these street lights are this road could easily go back could be eight lanes so let's keep track of we'll keep track of the project and keep you guys updated and let you know what's going on all right guys so remember to like share and subscribe and also leave your comments in the section below tell us what you think about this idea and why they're doing it in the comment section below